Hey guys, so this is some footage of a vlog that I did back in March that I never really edited into a video. Um, but here it is. So the first thing I'm doing on this morning is corrections from my proofreader. These are transcripts that will be due this morning. Um, I would have gotten the corrections from my proofreader the night before, and then I just have to do the corrections that she suggests and then submit them. And now I'm running to the post office really quickly before my job starts in the morning. Um, I probably had packages that I sold on eBay because we've been trying to downsize our apartment for a while now. So that's what I'm doing. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of snow on the ground. So it was probably freezing out on this day. This clip is kind of long. So how are you guys doing? I know I possibly have some court reporting students watching. How are classes going? I hope that you have been practicing every day with good practice and you are feeling confident and trusting the process. And to my fellow court reporters watching, any crazy recent stories you want to share? I hope things are going well for you, whether you are in person or still remote like I am. And to any non-court reporters, non-court reporting students, I hope you're doing well too. Wherever you are, whatever your circumstances are, I hope you are staying positive and safe and making the most of your current situation. So this was another really long clip and I just kind of rambled on for a long time. Um, but I'm just explaining that it's 10 o'clock. I'm home from the post office. I have an 11 o'clock job and a 3 o'clock job. I submitted those transcripts that were due in the morning and I think I still have two more transcripts that I want to get to my proofreader by the end of the day today. Okay, I don't normally do this, but I feel like I need extra caffeination today. I already drank all of my coffee and my first job hasn't even started yet. So, um, sorry, but we are making more coffee. So, hello, please. Okay. Yes. Okay, so it is just about noon and my first job is done for today. Um, this is what we're looking at for a page total. It's about, after, you know, corrections, title pages, and all that, it'll be about 45 pages, which is really not great. Um, but that's okay because I do have a second job today. So I am now going to resume working on this transcript, which I want to have to my proofreader by the end of the day today. I'm on page 41 of 76. I have plenty of time to finish it if I don't get distracted. So that's gonna be my goal. And here's some more riveting footage of me typing. Um, but what I'm doing here is just correcting raw steno, mistranslates, and the like. Okay, it's about 1.30. I'm taking a little lunch break. I'm just having this salad that we made last night. Um, and I've really been enjoying making this and having it. It's really quite tasty. Okay, and five minutes to go until my three o'clock job, and my job for Friday just canceled. Um, it doesn't look like they're going to be sending me anything else because they didn't mention in this email that they were going to send me anything else. So, as of right now, I have nothing for Friday. Okay, so it's four o'clock. My job is over. It was literally 20 pages, and it was an absolute nightmare. So, it was an Arabic interpreter, and... The witness's audio was crazy. Like he had a delayed feedback from what the interpreter was saying into his audio. So we got the sound from that. So as the interpreter was saying his answer, the delayed audio feedback from the witness was canceling out the interpreter's audio. So I couldn't hear anything. So I had to interrupt and say that I can't understand what he's saying. So... Ultimately, they ended the deposition early, and they're going to do it in person next week, so good luck to them. It's really frustrating to me because I'm willing to troubleshoot and try and get the audio corrected, but they were not interested at all, and I could tell from the start of the deposition they were not interested in this whole Zoom thing. Very negative energy, so I mean, whatever. They chose to end it early and do it in person next week, and that's fine with me. <laughs> It hurts my paycheck, but, you know, I'd rather have a bad paycheck than be in a nightmare deposition. So, <sighs> I guess it's fine. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm trying really hard not to let myself feel super down from that job because it was really not fun. <laughs> 
So I'm making some Zen tea and I'm going to chill for like a little bit, but I really still have to finish those transcripts from my proofreader tonight. So I'm just going to take a minute with some tea um, and then get back into work. So that was actually the last clip that I had for that day, but don't worry because I vlogged the next day too and you're about to see that right now. It looks like we're starting off with another walk to the post office, which is great because that means I sold more things, you know, got rid of more stuff. Um, I'm sure that I have since accumulated more stuff to fill its space, but uh, that's besides the point. Okay, good morning. Today is Thursday. I do not have any depositions today, so no new jobs, um, which is by choice. I usually don't take new jobs on Thursdays, um, just as like a buffer to catch up on work. So maybe it'll be interesting today to film what I'm doing. Maybe it won't be interesting, but I don't know. We won't know until I do it, so let's go. Okay, first thing I'm doing, well, second thing I'm doing. First thing was a trip to the post office, because of course it was. Next thing I'm doing is the laundry. We don't have an in-unit washer dryer, so I have to go down to the basement, which I hate doing, but that's what we have, so that's what I'm gonna go do. So the next thing that happened is, as soon as I opened my door, the detergent fell and spilled all over the place. Not off to a good start. This is completely broken. So that won't even stay sealed anymore. Not to mention that it spilled right outside my door and I had to clean that up. So, <sighs> feels like it's just gonna be an off day. I'm trying not to, take that energy, but that is what it's feeling like. Okay, so I have about 25 minutes at this point before I have to go back down and switch the laundry to the dryer. So I'm going to work on this transcript. I'm on page 35 of 61. I'm just going to get as much done as I can before I have to switch over to the dryer, and then we'll keep on going. Okay, I'm re my coffee. I just put the laundry in the dryer. That will be in there for 45 minutes. So I'm re my coffee. You know, hopefully get just a ton of work done and not be distracted at all, right? Okay, so the laundry is done and back up here. Now I get to fold it all. <laughs> my favorite part. Um, but also look at this natural light. That is natural lighting that we're seeing on this lovely pile of laundry. We don't get a lot of natural light here, so I'm excited for that. That's kind of sad. Okay, bye. If you've seen literally any of my other videos, you already know what I'm having for lunch, and it is my tofu egg salad with a nice, crispy, nearly burnt piece of toast. Yum. So I guess I'm having a little bit of trouble focusing today. Um, I may or may not have just purchased a Chipotle eyeshadow palette instead of getting work done. So um, yeah, that's how my day is going. For some reason, I just find this collaboration hilarious. <laughs> I couldn't resist buying it. I mean, look at this. Look at that makeup look. She's got an avocado on her eye. Oh my gosh, that is so funny to me. Uh, oh, and you get a free chips and guac with purchase of this palette. This is like, this has totally made my day. And here we have some more riveting footage of me typing. Um, sometimes I feel like editing this part out, but I feel like if I just go from one clip to the next without showing this, it's a little disjointed. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so I have made some popcorn for a little snack here. And just a PSA, this Skinny Pop popcorn butter flavor is certified vegan. So if any of y'all are vegan, this is a safe microwave popcorn to eat. Pretty awesome. Also, the bags are chemical free, so pretty awesome. Highly recommend Skinny Pop if you're into popcorn like I am. I love popcorn. I also really miss going to movie theaters, so um, this is this is doing it for me for right now. Another recommendation for you if you're a salt fiend like I am, this stuff is awesome. I think I bought this on Amazon, but it is vegan and it gives popcorn like a more popcorn-y taste. Does that make any sense? I don't know, but it's amazing and I always add some to my popcorn. So don't judge me. I have no idea how I got started watching this show, but I did. And I've actually been loving it. It feels so weird to say that, but I'm like invested in these couples right now. Except for the one that you see on the screen. I really don't like them together. I feel terrible for her. 
All right, so these are the last clips that I have for this vlog. Uh, this is just me working on a transcription job, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit of a different format with the voiceover, um, but give it a like if you liked it and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.